So Mark Ruffalo tonight is apologizing after sharing fake, probably AI-generated images of former President Donald Trump, supposedly on the plane of disgraced pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Mr. Trump's talking about this today on his Truth Social platform, denying he was ever going to Epstein's island, saying this is AI, it is very dangerous for our country, saying strong laws ought to be developed against AI. That post by Ruffalo now has nearly 3 million views somewhere in that neighborhood. It's been liked and retweeted thousands of times. The whole thing highlighting just how easy it is for this kind of inauthentic information to spread and the many challenges of AI, especially in an election year. Our Tom Winter has more. Award-winning actor Mark Ruffalo backtracking after being tricked by fake photos, all part of unsubstantiated theories spread on social media about an infamous case. The fake photos appear to show former President Donald Trump with a group of young girls traveling on a private jet. Ruffalo posting to his 8 million followers, hashtag MAGA wants to paint everyone on those flights as pedophiles, except the one guy who smiles in a group of young girls all headed to Epstein's fantasy island. But users on X quickly flagging the telltale signs that the photos were not authentic and potentially AI generated pointing to odd shadows, a blur on Trump's suit, and one girl missing an arm. Ruffalo offering an apology, but also putting some of the blame on ex's owner, Elon Musk, posting, be careful. Elon's ex and his allowing so much disinformation here is driving the value of his app down. Musk responding back at Ruffalo saying, He's not great at internalizing responsibility. X, including a community note. Users saying the photos were AI generated, pointing to a think tank fact check from months ago. One expert we spoke with agreed. We are building technology to automatically detect whether a photo, audio, especially video, is fake. Often that's something that's not visible to the naked eye. Oren Etzioni from University of Washington telling us his tech confirms with high confidence that the images are AI generated or altered. The social media companies have a huge responsibility that, frankly, uh, they've been shirking. Ruffalo and Musk did not immediately respond to requests for comment. X responding with a busy now, check back later message. It comes amidst the unsealing of nearly 4,000 pages of documents from a Jeffrey Epstein-related lawsuit. The real documents, posted on an official court website, offer the latest chance to get a fuller picture of Epstein's crimes, the company he kept, and who else could have been involved. Questions that remain unanswered after Epstein's suicide in 2019 before he stood trial. Rumors and unsubstantiated conspiracy theories spread for weeks before the documents were released. The theories undercut by the judge's own order, stating most names already were public through news stories or were not associated with salacious behavior. The newly unsealed documents do contain high profile names, such as former presidents Clinton and Trump, but they don't provide any evidence of wrongdoing by the men and both have denied any recent associations with Epstein or any wrongful conduct. As the documents and questions continue to swirl, the fake photos showing how easy it is for misinformation, AI, and conspiracy theories to thrive online. This problem of misinformation is going to get a lot worse before it gets better, and particularly before the upcoming November elections. We are about to witness a tsunami of political misinformation. Tom Winter is joining us now. Um, Tom, that this idea of the tsunami that could be to come of misinformation is obviously so critical right now. One of the things you also talked about separately is the idea of these actual documents, right? Like real documents that are being released now related to Jeffrey Epstein. There's been another batch that's that's just been put out late today. You, hundreds of pages. What should we know about them? Right, Hallie. So a lot of these documents that came out today were uh, prior transcripts of depositions, a lot of which we've seen before. There have been names redacted. There are still names and uh, passages that have been redacted. We're over 4,500 documents as of this moment that have been released. There's two uh, additional J. Does that the judge is about to rule on in the next uh, a week or two that we should get perhaps some more documents from there. You know, there, there remain some big questions. We didn't get any additional insight today, Hallie, into some questions that I've had 
bad. For instance, uh, Jeffrey Epstein appeared to have been tipped off that there was going to be a search of his home by Palm Beach police uh, back uh, well over uh, now nearly two decades ago. Computers were taken from the home. There was also a surveillance, uh, surveillance system or videotape system uh, that was set up in that home. We've never seen video from that. And of course, the more things we don't know and the more questions unanswered, Hallie, just further fuels those conspiracy theories. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.